Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a GMC Yukon or Yukon XL that generation here from year 2007 to year 2014. If you need to find where the canister valve fuses are located, which fuses you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time, why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix transmissions, engines, bodywork, interior, electrical, engine codes, almost absolutely everything. Why we do that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. We have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And on this channel alone today guys, we're going to be making a video about every single fuse relay in that GMC Yukon or Yukon XL. Why? Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere guys, you need to find where the fuel pump fuse relay is located, where fuel injector fuse is located. Uh, all you have to do watch the video, one, two minutes, you replace that fuse, you're back on the roll. So we make it for your convenience guys, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and if you need to buy parts and tools we'll put the links in the description of the video below where uh, you can get them at a good price that way you do not waste money and time. So let's start on it now. So the canister valve fuses where you can guys expect to find them we will demonstrate on that generation GMC Yukon. If you guys have a Yukon XL, practically it's the same vehicle, it is just a little bit longer, so it should work for both because they're built on the same platform. If you have code or problem with the canister valve, always check these two fuses, they're located in a fuse box under the hood. Open the hood and here on the driver's side, you see that box here guys, open that cover. Underneath you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout that will look like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you will lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all you have to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So guys, what we have here now for the canister valve, which two fuses we need to check. Oh, by the way, if you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools, not just for GMC Yukon, but practically for almost any car at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience. That way, guys, you do not waste money and time. Two fuses will need to be checked in the first fuse for the canister valve, check fuse number four, that 15 amp fuse right here. The second fuse is fuse number five, right next to it these two fuses. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.